All right, guys, welcome back to Our World Outdoors. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you know we're as real as it gets. I mean, you see us fail, you see stuff break, you see us fall down. We don't pull any punches on this channel. So why should our Christmas be any different? So, welcome to Hiker Trash Christmas. Because <laughs> this thing was done on such a budget, it's going to be Hiker Trash all the way through. So, to understand our Christmas this year, our actual Christmas present to each other is, well, I'll actually let my wife tell you what our Christmas present actually is to each other this year. We are paying off our house a little bit after January. So, all of our money has went into paying off our home. Yes. So, we got a 25-acre farm here in Ohio, um, or property, whatever we call it, a farm, homestead, whatever. We're going to be paying it off this year. So basically all of our money is getting sunk into that so we set a rather tight budget now we are bad about breaking budgets on Christmas we generally trade off years accidentally doing it like real bad but this, this year, year I think everyone stuck to it we stuck we had a bigger goal yeah we stuck to it pretty hardcore I mean like trying to sweat to the penny so we gave each other a $50 budget to buy our gifts all right now, most people would say, I can't even buy one good gift for my significant other. But that's the challenge of it. That was the fun of it. And it's a very small Christmas, and that's why we're going to share it with you to show you it doesn't always matter what you're given or what you get as much as just the thought that has to go into it. And trust me, doing a Christmas on $50 takes some thought. Mm -hmm. But with us backpacking, hiking, and all the other things we do around here, it's not that hard if you really look hard at what you're buying. So we kind of went budget across all the gifts and the only people that really got spoiled was the puppies. So we're gonna have to take a moment. Take care of the kids first. Paulo. <gasps> Come here, old man. There you are. Here. You can go over here by daddy. Come on. Good boy. Come on. <laughs> Come here, big boy. These are our babies now. All of our kids are grown up and moved Come out. Come on, big boy. Yep. Come here, Moss. There we you're, go. You're being <gasps> a pain. There you go. If we don't give them theirs first, they'll be over here because Apollo knows what a stocking is and he's used to getting his treats at Christmas time. Yes, he will actually, if you put his stuff in his stocking, he, you're drooling on me, man. He's like, I'm waiting my body. You're drooling on me. Neck, <laughs> he will actually pull the stocking down off the wall. Yuck. Man, Apollo. <laughs> Anyways, he wanted to go off camera and enjoy his Christmas. Let's get started here. So, Mama gets to play Santa Claus this year. So, let's get started here. Okay. To mommy. Mommy's got more presents than I do, so she's going to see her open some, but we spent the same amount. Everything was done on budget. Actually, okay. I think with tax and stuff and shipping, we both kind of went like $2 over yeah, budget. Yeah, not much stuff. Something. Normally, he goes way over budget. Diamonds. All right, I get to open it, right? Yes. Because I'm opening it. All right. Molly's looking up to make sure it's not edible. Ah. It's a down beanie. Cool. That's awesome. Your head won't My be cold. My head's going to be warm. That was the whole point. That's awesome. I thought you'd like that. Hiker trash Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So... The first present that I got for you is going to ensure that we have plenty enough water on the trail. Okay. Alright. You're going to love carrying it. It's going to be great. No, it's not, is it? Really? So, this is not <laughs> getting... This does not fit in my pocket of my 3FUL gear pack. <laughs> no, but really, guys, what this is is actually something I wanted because I work outside all summer long and 
I don't drink enough water. It's just a fact. I come in a lot, but I'm I'm on job sites now on the farm itself that I'm so far away, it takes too long to walk back to the house. So I'll just sit there and take a break. So this way I can have ice water in the truck with me all day if I'm out doing firewood, working in the garden, whatever it is. She's trying to keep me more <laughs> hydrated as I get older. But but it is something you wanted. You it is something I wanted. And it's something. also for when we do our car camping in it the winter. It will be good for car camping. We'll put this in. And maybe if I talk her into it, we go car camping long enough, I can fill it with coffee. <laughs> no, but thank Give you, honey. Coffee. That was perfect. <laughs> All right. No, there's no more treats. You can't eat that. Come over here. Come over here. You can't eat that. No, come over here. He's being a butthole. He wants to be a center. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Old man. All right, so your turn, Mom. Okay. Hi, buddy. Yeah. There's nothing edible in there. You realize that, right? Oh, a candle warmer. Yeah, that's a wax warmer. Nice for the wax ones. I'm going to start actually making these, so... Yep. The wax tarts, the scented wax tarts, she's going to start making. She got all the materials already, so... Awesome. This was one that was a little better looking than the other one she's had a chance to look at, so... I love it. Thank you. Not hiker related, but after I come home, she'll probably want to turn that on because I stink when I come home from big trips. All right. Here you go. There's no food in that. Are you helping? Are you helping? This one is going to help keep me warmer whenever we hike. And help keep you warmer? It's okay. It's okay. You're not in trouble. Come here. You can't go over there. <laughs> There's electronics there, buddy. You can't go through there. What's this? Huh? And Why are you licking it? Stop licking it. Why are you smelling it? Ah. It's a puffy. Very nice. Oh, it's the Costco puffy. That's a puffy. You can't eat that. Come here. You're getting into the electronics, buddy. Come here. Come on. All right. Look at you drooled all over it. What are you doing, man? <laughs> That's because I'll be snuggling up next to you. You gotta stay. Yeah, I usually hike in a semi-synthetic, but this is nice because I actually figured it out. This will weigh half as much as me taking my extra hoodie on them really cold days. Oh, really? Yeah, this weighs half as much. That's awesome. How the heck? It's we don't have a membership to Costco. How'd you do? It's not Costco. It's Sam's Club. Well, whatever. But I don't, don't want to know. I don't want to know. Things. I don't want to know. So, Sam's Club. Sorry, it's Sam's Club. But this one is it's the, the Eddie Sam's Bauer Club one. Well, it's the Eddie Bauer. It's Eddie so. Bauer, but it's not Sam's Club. I don't care. I like it. Very nice. Thank you, honey. Perfect. All right. So it's your turn, Paula. You're just being a problem right now. No. No. No, it's on the other side. You cannot walk through there. There's electronics there. What don't you understand about that? Cheated. You rabbit like 15. Oh, gloves. Not just gloves. Look Not a little closer. Gloves. What are they? Oh, the grippy ones. They're not grippy. They're they're phone gloves. Man. Oh, you can use them for your phone? Honey. And it'll work. Come here, Molly. There's electronics right here and the dogs keep trying to run through them. There you go. That's my girl. That way. No, you're not coming awesome. around. Awesome. Thank you. She always has to take her gloves off to take pictures and stuff with her phone. So. Yeah, so I'm all the time losing my gloves whenever we're on the trail or... Yep. So that'll be nice. There. Now you can come sit right here by me and be good. Come on. All, All right. right. Here you go.
Ouch. Okay, so it's a shirt that says, I've been called a lot of things in my lifetime, but Pawpaw is my favorite. And that she's referring to all my granddaughters and my grandson, well, my grandsons. I like to run around my grandkids and raise a little... <laughs> <laughs> I, I get in trouble with my grandkids. We'll just put it put it like that. But I get them out in the outdoors and we have fun and I enjoy being a grandpa. Even though they make me pull out what's left of my hair. <laughs> so, I think we're down to this one. You got to keep the down put away in our house because the dogs will get it. You're just diving it up tonight, aren't you, Moss? That's right. She's like, Mom. This is an awfully big box for such a small thing. This is something she's wanted. No, quit it. What is it? Open it up. Oh, it's the booties. They're down booties. <laughs> Come here. Mommy's going to stay so warm this year. Come here. That's awesome. Good boy. Wow. You sure you only paid 50 bucks? Yep. 50 bucks. Why do you think I couldn't get you a coat? That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's so warm. So, we're definitely... Going to be doing a lot better about being staying warm, that's for sure. That's and great. You are just all kinds of just being a pain tonight, aren't you, old man? <laughs> yes, I love It you. has been a truly a wonderful year, though, um, with all the hikes we've went on, all the interaction from all of our subscribers. We have had a wonderful year and a lot of adventures. Yep, and the outpouring of support has been amazing. And it, it's easy for us to just be us and and live in the real world. I mean, you know, we don't try to, to put on or cut out. I mean, we you, what you see is us. I'm fat and everybody knows it. Me too. And I don't try to be anything other than that. And you guys see by our Christmas, we don't live an extravagant lifestyle. We are just us and nothing else. And that's all we strive to be. And, you know, you guys have been very supportive of that and understand that. And I think you can relate to that. You know, we're not some picture perfect through hiker, amazing things. We're just regular old people. And... Your guys' support keeps us wanting to make more videos, go more places, live more adventures, and just mm -hmm. love life. And we appreciate you guys for that. We enjoy bringing our adventures to you. Yep. We enjoy sharing our adventures. But we really hope that you guys have a wonderful holiday with your family and that the new year brings you everything possible. You know, we wish you all nothing but the best through these seasons. And we hope that your next year is as full of adventure as this one has been for us. <laughs> and as much and as our next year is going to be. Because we are planning them, we are stacking them up, and it is going to get wild. Very excited for the new year. Yep. So, from us here at Our World Outdoors, to you and yours, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Say, Happy New Year. Don't Be safe, everyone. <laughs>